Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Kyle Cougar here. Um, so good morning, well it's morning where I am. Good afternoon or good night, depending on where in the world you are. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, today's video, we're gonna be talking about a work-life balance. Um, I feel like as a freelancer and a, hair, and a hairstylist, um, I sometimes struggle with um, blending my work life and my personal life. When I'm doing hair and stuff, it feels more of like, okay, like these hours I'm doing hair and I'm working and it's like a day rate or I'm at the salon or I'm doing, um, I'm running to people's houses to give them haircuts and like private clients. And that feels like work and like the travel and all of that. When I'm doing freelance stuff, like creating stuff online, whether it be kind of influencing for a brand or creating videos on my, on my own accord, whether it be from a YouTube channel or for Instagram or so on, um, I feel like my personal life and my and my work life blend a little bit. So that can be challenging. I feel like our generation, um, whether it be millennial or Gen Z, um, we create a lot. You know, we have our devices that have cameras on them. We all and we invest in cameras, and we are, you know, very interested in documenting our lives. And so, for some of us, that can turn into work. Now that I'm in my late 30s, I have a little bit of experience on how to um, balance this, and also I'm not perfect at it. So I'm still learning along the way. So I'd like to share just some things that I learned along the way about my work-life balance and what happens if you don't. I'm also gonna be working with a brand for this video, so it's a perfect opportunity for me to show you how I sort of incorporate that brand into my daily life and my personal experiences, and then I can sort of document that as I go and try to find a nice balance in working and, um, and also getting things done that bring me um, joy and pleasure, and it's a nice mix throughout my day. Let's dive in to this video. So Bose recently sent me these, which, well, the original Bose frames were on Time's 2019 Best Invention list. So this is the next generation. And what, speaking of music, it's great because it sort of allows me to enhance my experience no matter where I am. So um, Bose sent me this beautiful box and inside the box is these frames. Also it has Super Goop, which is my most favorite sunscreen, which just happened to be in the box, which is a huge surprise. So I'm very excited about that. It, you guys need to get the sunscreen. It is my, it's the best. Love good packaging. I don't know what about it just makes me so happy. Not only are these Bose frames producing high quality sound like all Bose products, um, these frames are very comfortable and I love these ones because they're square. I feel like a square frame kind of goes best with my face. So whether it be like a jawline or my hair architecture, you know, we're in the last month of summer, but that is, I am not willing to let summer go. Sort of charging up, powering up my summer 2.0. I'm adding music to the mix. I mean, this is gonna be a great day. Just be like dancing up a storm while I kind of take care of my, um, my fun today, which is gonna be washing my car. My work today is, well, I will be creating this video, um, which is a sponsored video with Bose. And then I also have a lot of homework to do. So I'm in my finals right now, and I'll be doing my film editing and my sound editing homework, hopefully poolside. And what's great about these glasses is that I can sort of link them to my computer and I can listen with Bose sound quality to my sound mixing homework um, while I'm poolside and making sure that the sound of my film is perfect and that I can turn it in for my final presentation. So I'm very excited about that. So one of my main focuses while I'm in school and while I'm working and doing my freelance work or whether it be hair stuff is I want to make like I wanted to sort of like take back my summer. Um, I've been like bouncing around a lot and I thought um, a way to do that for me would be to sort of go on like, a little work getaway where I can spend a few days um, in Palm Springs and feel like I'm on vacation but I'm also working. So I like to do that by going to the pool. I love to wash my car and sort of like give my car some love. Um, music, a big focus on music and how music enhances my life and my um, and, and my mood. I always have it on. I always want to have it around me. Um, I feel like it is a way for me to stabilize my mood, to um, de-stress, to feel really good. Having that major summer album, or in this case, there's been a few summer albums this year that have been really good. Um, so having that on in the background, it really feels like it enhances my mood and makes my productivity that much better. So I woke up in Palm Springs. It's about two hours outside of LA. It's one of my most favorite places to go. If you follow me online, you know that I'm there all the time. The desert, 
I love so much about the desert, it's August right now, it's not necessarily the, the best time to go out there because you can't really leave the house. It is such a beautiful place to go and I really like the, I like the colors there, I like the atmosphere, I like how like mellow it feels. It feels like there's not people rushing, driving crazy everywhere. Energy is just like more relaxed and that sort of fits my vibe when I feel a little bit overwhelmed with like my work life um, balance. It's a perfect place for me to go to be able to work and to be able to enjoy myself and have that really nice mix. So I thought it'd be a perfect place to go for a video that talks about this topic. I think it's really, it's also very important to realize that this work life can fluctuate. So I'm always present to the idea that sometimes my work life is gonna be, as a freelancer, it's gonna be a little bit more chill. And then every now and then, we like kick it into high gear and I'm like bumping out like, you know, I have like lots of things during the week to do, plus I am in school and so it feels like it can feel a little bit stressful and overwhelming and that's when I have to realize that look, it's fluctuating right now and I need to sort of stop everything and see how can I do this in a way that would bring me joy um, even though it's work, <laughs> like, you know, a joy, a, a little joy. So I'm like working and I'm also feeling good. And then I know that the work that I produce will be better. So I wouldn't normally buy this truck, but I do love this truck and I love that I it's white and black, sort of like a stormtrooper. And I also bought it, I like caved when I saw the name, it was called a Raptor and I like love dinosaurs. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the dinosaur truck um, and then make it look like a stormtrooper. Uh, so I love my truck actually so much. And I'm, I now that I drive a pickup truck, I can't imagine ever not driving a pickup truck. Like, I don't know how people would wake up one day and be like, you know what, I'm gonna buy like a sedan. Like, I just can't even, I mean, good for you, but I just cannot even imagine. I can literally put everything in this car. It's so great. I can throw Angus in the back, like move furniture for people, mattresses. I mean, anything you need to move, I can do it. And I love to be able to help out my friends like that. So because this truck was a little bit higher on the budget end um, with buying my Airstream. Um, I I really like to take care of it. I love to wash it, I love to clean it. And also like my anxiety and my stress that I sort of have a lot of the time, which is why I try to balance my work life so much. Cleaning and, and having something to do with cleaning and or vacuuming or washing something is something that brings me peace. So my apartment is usually spotless and um, it's a little bit OCD, I'm working on it in therapy. And also I feel like, um, just like the sense, like the satisfaction that I get from seeing something be really dirty to very clean and organized and everything kind of has a home, I love that. Cleaning my car is great. And then not only be able to clean my car, but while dancing with sunglasses on that are polarized, I mean, this is like top notch summer vibe. <laughs> In my experience, I would say like two thirds of my friends have definitely experienced negative effects on their personal life, um, including lack of personal development and physical mental health problems and poor relationships and poor home life due to their balance being a little bit upset, right? So I think this balance is, is great. And I think doing my stressful finals by the pool and in Palm Springs kind of feels like a nice way that I can feel comfortable doing it and not try to lose too much of my mental health or, my, my, and, or, or get wrapped up in too much stress if I'm in this beautiful atmosphere while I take care of this. So the culture of being overworked, um, the romanticizing and glamorizing the idea that we need to overwork ourselves to get to the top and once we get to the top we have to like create a new level of top so that we can just um, keep succeeding over and over until we die and you know like that just doesn't really seem like the type of summer that I want <laughs> and that definitely doesn't seem like the type of life that I want um, it Overworking has um, personal consequences that I feel like are well documented. For example, um, people who are overworked have a higher um, have higher heart disease, um, have higher statistics in heart disease, have higher statistics in stress. Um, they are more anxious and depressed. Um, one Harvard study found that you can lose up to 13 IQ points um, depending on how overworked you are and depressed you are. And I just feel like, I mean, that alone. Come on, 
you know, you don't want to work yourself into stupidity. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm being serious. It, it, it really is important to keep your mental clarity and your, and, and your happiness and your joy um, based on focusing on how to create this balance. So a few things that I do um, to make sure that my balance of work and life is very present. Um, so I encourage myself to take breaks. Um, I make sure that I review and assess my workload often and I'm mindful of fluctuations. So I also make time to volunteer, whether it be doing a fundraiser on my Instagram for Black History Month, or whether it's riding in the AIDS life cycle bike ride every year where I spend six months fundraising and I kind of put some time every week to fundraising and then I do the bike ride in June um, for people living with HIV through the LGBT Center. And you know, so there, there's just experiences where I want to make sure that I'm working, but it's volunteer work. Um, it kind of fills me up in a different way and feels really good, it's rewarding. Um, so I definitely make sure I have, have time to do that. I reward myself throughout the day with perks. So this is what I feel like your job should be doing. If you have like a normal job where you get paid an hourly rate or a salary, they should also be giving you these perks, whether it be like, um, I go to the, I give myself a gym break, I get massages, I make sure I have snacks around, I have coffee, and, and like this, this is, this is a perk. Coming to Palm Springs for a couple of days to work, taking a day trip or so, like that, you know, that idea um, is, is such a big perk with my job and I feel like your job, you should be able to ask for these things as well. So chronic stress is something that can lead to depression, anxiety, insomnia, um, it can lead to digestive issues and heart problems and you know so one of the biggest things that we should try to avoid is chronic stress. So I just have a few things where I've learned over the past, I don't know, 15 years of sort of trying to be mindful of my work-life balance that have um, really helped me get into that space of like a perfect equilibrium. And I'm not always perfect at it. I am far from perfect. I mess up all the time. But it's just a matter of staying present and checking in and being like, okay, how can I balance this out? One thing that I feel like I do is I know my peaks and my troughs. So for example, I'm a morning person or I, I want to be a morning person. So I like to do things in the morning when I have my coffee. Like for example, today I'm filming in the morning because I feel like it's the most comfortable time for me to work. Then when I edit, I'll edit at night when the sun is down. So I feel like I want to be able to go outside and enjoy the day. So I work better at night when I'm doing like tedious stuff like editing. And then when I'm filming and stuff, I like to be on in the morning because I'm in a much better mood. So that's something I do to make sure I know my peaks and my troughs or my peaks and my valleys about when I am best um, to operate, whether it be on camera or editing or doing schoolwork or so on. So I also play to my strengths, right? So my strength is directing or sort of producing the work, right? So I am happy to hire friends that are much better at I am than shooting and filming and hire friends that are good at sound and hire friends that can teach me how to do something that I don't know how to do. And I will outsource that and ask them for a favor if I don't have the money. I mean, I pay them, but if you don't necessarily feel like you have um, the income to pay them or you, the funds right now, then maybe you could trade with them for something, see if they would be willing to trade for something you are good at that they are not good at. I try my best to set work hours. Like my work hours are between like nine and one, and then I like live my life. And then in the evening I work from like seven to whatever, 11. So I try to have like a full work day, but I try to have when the sun is out, when I like to be outside, I have like a chunk of the day where I go work out, or I go get food, or I see friends, or I grab a coffee with someone, um, <clears throat> something, something like that. So I, I feel like my day feels like a full work day, but also I get to have my life in there as well. So now that my schoolwork is done, I'm gonna go on a hike. Um, so a hike is, I love being out in nature. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am always out, um, whether it be hiking, going on weekend hiking trips, um, going hiking and being out in nature is, for me, it is the top notch way for me to be present, stay in the moment and sort of just, um, 
feel alive. I, I love it so much. I'm glad that I can bring these tenor frames with me and it kind of feels like a private sound um, that it can enhance my experience. So I try to manage my mind as much as possible, right? So not only do I check in with friends and you know and, and, and make sure that I'm up to date with all of them and I'm and I'm being honest with them about where I am, but also I have a mental health counselor, a therapist who I see once a week. And um, that is a sort of standing appointment that I have every Friday morning that I show up to, that I make sure that I go to because my mental health and getting out sort of my stress and anxieties and depressions and like all these um, peaks and valleys that I'm going through, I wanna make sure that I'm talking about it with a professional. And so I highly suggest that if you can afford therapy, then you should go. And if you can't necessarily, if, if therapy is out of your budget, then maybe you could look into something like the LGBTQ center in your area that would potentially offer free services or discounted services and ask a therapist if they can work on a sliding scale so it works for you, so that you can still actually manage your mind and take care of yourself um, so that you can do better work um, whenever you're working. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching today and thank you, Bose, so much for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for these frames. My teacher, my sound mixing teacher is going to be very jealous when I show him these in class today. Um, yeah, I'm excited to sort of take back my summer and enjoy the rest of the summer and add this sort of music with a stylish twist. Um, yeah, so if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram and Twitter and see what my personal work-life balance really is or the highlight reel of it, um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kyle Krieger and yeah and thank you guys so much for watching today's video I really appreciate it and I will see you next week bye